We're here with Tom Parker Bowles, judge of Nine's new cooking show, The Hot Plate. Tom, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, Channel Nine is launching into this very competitive world that is cooking shows with The Hot Plate coming up very soon. What can you tell us about this new show without giving too much away? Well, The Hot Plate is obviously a cooking format. It's about finding the best local restaurants. But the whole point of it is, is that we find local restaurants and it's state, you know, there's some in Victoria, in mm -hmm. Queensland, it's all over Australia. But the key is all the restaurants we choose are local restaurants and successful local restaurants. Right. So this isn't your Gordon Ramsay style, oh, it's all failing, we'll come in and we'll sort you out and all the rest. And I love Gordon, you know, but <laughs> it's not that. It, it, it's about, these are good, successful restaurants but they decided they want to go up a notch. Um, they also want to win $100,000. Right. And of course, the exposure on, on primetime Channel 9 is, is, is not going to be a hindrance either. So that's the, the essential premise. But all the restaurants are different. So you'll have a French restaurant, a Japanese restaurant, a modern Australian restaurant, um, a seafood restaurant. You know, so it's different cuisines, different states, and they're all in it together. And Scott Pickett and me are the judges. Fantastic. And $100,000, that is huge prize money. I'd imagine there must be a lot of rivalry between the states. Who do you think has got the edge in terms of uh, the best cooking in each state so far? Well, you know, I couldn't go into too much detail <laughs> of that. But what fascinates me as a, as a Brit coming in is the rivalry between the different states. You know, you, you, oh, at the huge. moment, you know, state of origin th th going on and all that sort of stuff, huge. But Western Australia, I never knew that Western Australia occasionally get a bit annoyed with, the, with, <laughs> with other parts of Australia saying, you know, well, you take all the money. And that was what was fascinating to come in again as a Brit coming in and loving Australia, but not knowing too much about the politics of, and, uh, and the rivalry between the states. It was their real rivalry. The money, the, you know, the, the fact of the state versus state, dish versus dish. The stakes were, were literally very high. Yes, and particularly in Sydney, New South Wales, uh, we like to think of ourselves as some pretty top-notch foodies. Uh, who do you think rivals uh, the New South Wales contestants? Well, again, I'm not going to jump myself into this, this, <laughs> this huge, but Scotty's from Melbourne. Yes. And I lived, I was living in Sydney. I'm, you know, living in Sydney. And so I would sort of say, God, Sydney has such good food. It's mm -hmm. incredible. You know, you're going to, 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 to all these wonderful restaurants. I love Thai food and I love Chinese food. And, you know, whether it's Mr. Wong or House or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And Melbourne would be like, yeah, you know, Sydney, you know, <laughs> you know they, they, what do they know? You know, we are, we're Melbourne. We're yep. more serious. We are the food. We are the creative thing. And then, of course, Sydney would be like, oh, Melbourne. just So immediately you realise this rivalry between the, between the two cities and the two states. And between massive. yourself and, and your co-judge as well. Well, to a point, exactly. You know, the thing was that I, Scott, my co-judge, he'd worked in London for a long time. So we had lots of mutual friends and it was one of those things that we immediately um, gelled. You know, we were really good mates now. But if we didn't like each other, it'd been hell for three months. We we're living in each other's pocket, traveling around the country. And so, um, yeah, but we basically sort of agreed on pretty much the same thing. It was almost okay. right down to something sort of subconscious. It was weird. Interesting. Now, you're one of the UK's top food critics, and I think if there's one thing the British uh, know is good food and fine food, as you said, Gordon Ramsay, I mean, the list goes on. How do you think the Aussies will stack up in the kitchen? How, how from what you've seen, how do they stack up against uh, the British? Well, you know, you're, you're being exceptionally kind about the British <laughs> yeah. and the food, and you think of the Gordons and the Marcos, and, and that, that's all great, but British food has for a long time had this awful reputation, the culinary kicking boy of the world. Okay. You know, it's a sort of joke without a punchline, British food, ha, ha, ha. Usually jokes by people who haven't even been to Britain. And food is improving a lot. We have incredible produce. Mm. But what blows me away about Australia and Australian cuisine and, and is that there are no boundaries. You're, there's no, it, a lot of French food is hide bound by, you know, 300 years of gastronomic goodness, you know, the usual mm -hmm. French stick mm -hmm. and rubbish. Um, Whereas Australia, there, there are no boundaries. There's this sort of um, sense of adventure, this sense of excitement, and this picking and choosing of all the different cuisines. And on the hot plate, you do have the Japanese, and they're very pure Japanese. Okay. You know, they're obviously Japanese Australian, but they have been in Tokyo learning the skills of yakitori, and you know, this attention to detail just blew me away. And the whole point of the show is that we had to be honest, Scott and me. There was no chance of us sort of, you know, the producer saying, you know, go for that one, go for that one. Right. That wasn't going to happen because as a critic, I have, you know, I, I guard my independence fiercely and Scott is a restaurateur and a, and a chef. The same, and we had some spectacular food. We had some nights that everything went a bit wrong as well. Yeah. You know, it went very wrong. Um, but 
when it came down to, you know, when, when, when the competition started really heating up, the stuff that was being pulled out was blew me away and they, you didn't need to be television about it. You could just, just wow. Fantastic. And you just said some nights things went particularly wrong. Can we expect some big meltdowns on this show? You can certainly expect some, uh, some ups and downs, definitely. Okay. The, the highs are absolutely sort of uh, fantastic and, 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 and uh, inspiring. And the lows, you know, they can, they can reach pretty low as well. They're, they're you know, pretty profound depths of low. They Very good. We reach in the programme, but that's the thing. And, you know, the, the, this whole idea of, there's an awful word in television, a journey, you know. <laughs> People are going on a we journey. We all love that word a journey, in media. Exactly. <laughs> and it, it's not a journey, but you do see, the whole point of this is we're not going in to say, ha, 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 you know, look at this, aren't you rubbish or fake? No, they're starting at this very good point and they're only getting better. And that's yep. what the joy of it was, because I would have said no if it had been a program, a sort of negative program. This is a celebration of Australian food. Yes, there's rivalry, and yes, there's a lot of cash at the end to win, <laughs> but it is a celebration of good food, and that, that's what, what made me excited. <laughs> <laughs>